video. Yeah. I've got a few issues um, mapping profit room with um, Q2B. And the reasons for that is um, once the rooms are set up differently in a, a, um, profit room. So we've sent you the list and we've tried to match it to whatever you've given us to match it with. Yeah. But there's also no maximum um, occupancy pushing through from profit room. So that's point one. Okay. And then the right that we have to push to um, profit room, which right is it? The OTI standard right. And then you've got uh, bed and breakfast, mine availability and self catering. So mm -hmm. if normally if you have this, you'll have the standard right includes breakfast. You will say mm -hmm. standard right B and B. Then you'll have a room only right that you generate in Q2B and we'll link or the self catering right and we'll link that right. Because now, which right do we map with profit room? Uh, I would say maybe Yannis can also hear, but from what I understand, it would be the standard rate, but I am not too yeah. sure if we actually have any different ones. Like if you go on that drop down arrow, um, those other stuff, yeah, you know, like the conference rate, corporate rate, OTA, those are all different. Um, yeah. You know, that wouldn't really be applied to. Profit group South catering, yeah. And okay, so uh, if if possible, if you can use the same category that you're using in Q2B for profit room, it will make it much easier. Mm. Okay, and then the occupancy as well needs to also um, be set up in profit room for us to pull it through. Then we say, okay, how many rooms do you have in Q2B, and then we match the right and the rooms um, with each other. But now my next issue is, so I've taken it from what you've got in Q2B, okay? And mm -hmm. to which category you had it linked in Q2B. And I've done this spreadsheet and this is the one that I've sent to you. Yeah. So now you've said to us, these rooms link it all to this category. We cannot link, like you see in the mapping, we cannot link, um, a room or a category to two different categories. You have a category in, in profit room and we link it to that category and we say how many rooms do you have in that category. So what is the category in, in, in profit room? What is that? Okay, so I'm getting there. So that's why I marked this in yellow. And then yes. also the total. So now I've taken what is in Q2B. This is what is in Q2B. There's yes. the rooms. I filtered mm -hmm. it by category. Okay. okay. So these are the rooms that you've got in Q2B. Mm -hmm. And there's the capacities in Q2B. It's also need, it, it needs to match with profit room. Okay. So total in this category, you've got only three of those. You've got one, one. One of those, one of those, one of those, three, one, one, okay. one, yeah. two, two of those, one, and two of those. Okay. So it needs to match, this needs to match with profit room because we pull all the um, resources, we retrieve the resources from profit room and the totals and the capacities are missing. Mm. And then we match them to the same. Uh, um, and if if possible, Rita, I don't know yes. on your side, if you can use the same category name. Yeah, I can. Because it will be much easier. That's fine. For us to map it then. And then also the right, the standard right. Does it include breakfast? So your category is basically your room code. We need to make sure the room codes are correct. Right, technically. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to get you this. There you go. So this standard right here, your default right. Mm -hmm. It looks like everything, okay, the breakdown wasn't done in, um, it's stuff that Amy still had to do. So to break down these rooms to departments and these rights. I see it wasn't done. So, Henriette, sorry. Mm. Um, 
would it help then us just sorry on the on the rate so having a standard b and b rate and then having a standard self catering rate yes is that what you're asking yes okay yes. yeah so yeah. the stand yeah, right. yeah or standard room only and a standard bed and breakfast rate okay. so standard room only and a standard b and b okay or they yeah, will they will call it room only uh, and or B and B rate. Okay. Yeah. So we don't really offer a stand like a room only rate. Would that room only rate then apply to self catering? Self catering. Or okay. you can call it self catering. Okay. Okay. So we need to. Sorry. Let me just. Yeah. Me so that's what you will need to do. Uh, you will need to create a new category. I can do it now for you while we're online. Okay. What are you going to call it? The self catering? What would you like to call it? Um, yeah, probably self catering because I'm assuming it's only going to be then applied to the units, to the self catering units. So you could call it that. And it's got to be online as well, eh? Okay. Okay. And then the standard one, does it include breakfast? Yeah, so we can then include that for the lodge rooms. Okay, and that's also online. Okay, so now let me just quickly make a shortcut for you. Can I ask you guys something? Why mm. don't you want to use your corporate rates on profit room? Uh, I actually don't know. Because your profit room marketing automation tool, right? You can like you can pro you can market to whoever you want to market to there. We can we can create we can create the same rates. You can even create promo codes. You're probably going to use the promo codes. So with the promo code, if your corporate <clears throat> uh, business partner has a promo code, if they go onto Profit Room and they type that in, they get discount automatically. So where do you use your your um, corporate rates? Uh, we'd probably just do that direct. So it's when they book direct, we'll give them a corporate rate. And it's usually because they've just, it's only like one or two businesses in the area that we actually do the corporate rate for. Okay. Okay. We're, I'm going to leave this set up for now as simple as possible to get you live. But yeah. if you don't mind, when I do my handover with the customer success manager, I'm going to mention this to her. Okay. Just to see how we can actually generate more business for you through the corporate tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. So to carry on, so what I've seen, what Amy didn't do yet, Brendan. Mm -hmm. which you'll have to go and do for your reporting to work out is she had to come here to the department split and then click on it and say out of this 24 hour conference rate yeah what is going to which department food and beverages are getting a hundred rand housekeeping is getting 50 rand venue hire sundries is getting so much and the remaining is going to accommodation okay so, for instance, on this one, the standard B and B rate. Okay, what is the breakfast um, in this B and B rate? What is the breakfast? Uh, I would have to check that. I'm not too sure. I don't have that on me now. Um, but I can go through that and add those on. Okay. So let's say it's one fifty. Okay. Yeah. So you say one fifty out of that rate goes to break food and beverage. Mm -hmm. and then you go action, create new, and accommodation is getting the remaining. Okay. So you can just come here to the little pencil and, and you can it. edit the 150. Okay. And the remaining is going to accommodation. And that needs to be done on all your categories, the breakdown. So okay. self catering is everything is going to accommodation. That's mm. an easy one. So accommodation gets remaining. So, sorry, Henry, just to double check, so that self-catering rate, 
do we have to link it to our self catering rack rates like yeah the actual prices at no the moment? i'm going to mean? show you now what you need to do this ota rate as well is it bed and breakfast is it uh what is it room only uh no i would submit to bed and breakfast we don't really do a room only other than self catering okay so once again you have to come and say on this right what goes to food and beverage and what goes to accommodation mm -hmm. okay then after this you'll have to go and you'll have to go and generate rights so you'll have to take this family one i don't know if you did the training so i'm just showing you this again because you'll have to go and generate rates now so it's self-catering family free bedroom apartment okay so you go um, and you charge per room per night. So you go from here, step two, up until which date. Let's say you can do a year ahead if you want to. Which rate are you generating now? Self-catering rate. It's per room per night only, so you only need one rate. So let's say it's two five, two five. And you can increase your weekend rates if you want to, and then you can generate. So you have to come and do it for all your self catering um, rates. In the lodge is still set. I don't have to the, touch the lodge the is still. It will be set on um, on um, standard rate. Then you have to wait when you click generate. You have to wait until a window pops up to say um, generation complete then you come and do the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one as soon if, if let's say these two works on the same rate you can generate them together but if they're different rates different capacities you need to generate them separately okay and what is that there on the step four where it says rate one, rate two, rate three? Is that just if you're doing multiple units at a time? So rate one equals uh, per room per night. Okay. Okay. Um, or per person per night. Or we also um, cater for occupancy based. So if one sleeps, if two sleeps, if three sleeps, if four sleeps, if five sleeps, if six, that's what oh. it is. That's the totals. But all of your rooms, it looks like they're all... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, the large is occupancy-based. Yeah, but that should be loaded already. It's just yeah, so the room. per room per night for the self-catering, you only complete rate one. Okay. Because you don't care how many people are sleeping in there, that's yeah. your rate per night. So it's one rate, rate one. Yeah. Okay, whereby the occupancy will work differently. So you'll select the standard B&B. It says large executive twin, it can take two. So this will be like, that's your first person. If they sleep, it says it's one, two. And if two best people sleep, it becomes one, six. Do you have mm. child policies? I can't remember. Yeah, we do, yeah. Okay, so that's another game. So let's do large executive twin. You go to your resources, then you set up resources um, or resource categories for you. So it's this one, hey? large executive twin. Mm -hmm. So if you have child rights in, yeah, you have child policies in, you also have to generate those rights. Okay. So when you go to the right generator, you have two Just policies in that category. Yeah, so you have a child policy one and two. So let's say, for instance, this one is for free and that one, there's a rate. So your rates will work like this. Then this one is zero and you have to add the zero in there. And this one is, let's say, uh, 450, 450, 450. So you have to do that for rooms that's got um, child capacities. Okay, so, th so that hasn't been set up already. I'm going to check it? now for you. Okay, okay. so I'm just thinking there with the child policy, we have three policies, not just so it's zero to three is free, four to 12 is an amount, and then um, 12 to 16 is a different uh, amount. In Q2B, we can only carry two uh, child policies, and that's how we've set it up. 
Okay. So zero to three stays free, and the year is four to 12 years as well. And then 13 to 16 are paying a different rate. If there's a rate in for this four to 12, maybe that's how Amy did it. She generated the rate um, in year for the four to 12. Is there rate applicable to this yep. child? Mm. So that's how she did it then. So there was a right in here. Yeah. Okay, so there should be a right there. I'm going to check now for you. Okay, and then you click generation. But you have to check your category. If there's the child policy in, you have to generate the child policy in the right generator as well. Okay, well, we can just double check that because I think the lodge stuff should be sorted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we can just okay. double check. So step one, step two, step three, step four. Yeah. Do you want me to take a screenshot for you from the screen, or are you just going to follow the video? Uh, you, a screenshot would be good, thank you. Uh, I can just double check it. I'll just mail it to you afterwards. Thank you. And then the splits on the categories. That's very important because your management reports are now showing unallocated rates. So I'm just going to clear this. Um, let's check if your rates are coming pulling through correctly. Okay, so let's say a large twin and you want to book on standard rate, check availability. So here she's got in. Yeah, so it's an adult. Yep. So there's a right in that calculates that right and that calculates that right. Okay, good. So that's how she did it. Okay, yeah. so that should be fine. Then. So that's all. Yeah. So um, very important is to go and break down. Sorry, Rita, this is not profit rule. You have to do your right categories on no, this little fine. icon. Your split. Very important to do. And then also um, all your price list items also had to be split. So I don't know. No, they, there was no splits done yet. Okay. So what you can do, do your rates separately, and then you go to your price list, and you go in this half-day conference, action, create new, food and beverage are getting 50 bucks. Okay. Okay. And then create new, when you hire, gets 100 out of that rate. And then you say create new. And let's say housekeeping is getting 50 bucks up until when it's up to 120. And then you say create new and what's who's getting the rest. Mm. Yeah. So out of this conference package, let's say equipment rental gets 100. And it needs to match that free 20. So let's say this is 120. So you have to do your revenue breakdown for those packages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I can do that. So do the packages like that, and then your separate items, I'll show you where we've made it a little bit easier. You go to down to the departments. You say action, find missing price list items. Okay, and there's all your priceless items that's never been allocated. So you can say this goes to venue higher. Okay, and save. Okay. So it's only the packages that needs to be done. But yeah. do the packages in priceless, priceless here. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. good. So we can do the packages, not a problem. Um, yeah. Sorry, just maybe get back to in the beginning where we were mentioning, and maybe Yanis can also give more input on this, but just. I know on Profit Room, when we st first started the setup there, we decided to kind of change the categories um, just because we had so many different categories. The honeymoon room was still on there and all of that. Is it not worth to make it easier just changing the categories on QTB instead of um, now trying to match all the different rooms and rates? And I can tell you now it's going to cause a lot of havoc, havoc for you okay. because we've already mapped your bookings.com and Expedia. Okay with Q to B categories. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be easier to change it in profit room because otherwise it's going to affect all your OTAs. Okay. 
Sounds good. Okay. So that is the reason why we always say if if you do your setup, use what you're currently using, but now you've changed your categories in Q2B. But mm -hmm. we've mapped all these categories to your OTAs again. It's going to cause so many problems for you. Okay. Okay. And then what I wanted to check is um, on the self-catering. So let's see self-catering two bedrooms. What? Okay, so there's the right, but I think she linked it to the standard right. Yeah, because this is yeah, your standard. default right. Yeah. yeah. So do it separately on the self-catering right so we can map it properly with um, profit room. Okay. Okay, because my problem in profit room is, here's bed and breakfast. What is main availability? You see, so it's bed and breakfast, but it falls under that category. But then we, now we can then update it and we can link it to the bed and breakfast. Main availability will then be your self-catering rate, which will be here then when I refresh. I don't want to refresh now because I'm going to lose all this data. Okay. And then... Um, yeah, we'll link it to your self-catering right. Okay. Okay. So if possible, I will send my spreadsheet to you. There's your rooms in Q2B, and there's the, these are the rooms, and there's the categories. Mm -hmm. There's the capacity in Q2B at the moment. And if it's not correct, you have to change it in Q2B and in um, profit room. And there's the totals in that categories. When you say the total, the total number of rooms. So, no, total, category. yeah, it's total now three rooms in that category. Total yes, in so category. There's three, there's three large executive kings. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so go, I'll, I'll go and update that in profit room, if that's okay with you. Yeah. So I'm just going to unmark all these yellow ones because that's the ones I found in Profit Room, okay. but I couldn't find those. Okay. 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 So, so I'll send you, you, so in the sheet that where we started off, mm. there was the new one. Um, so this is all incorrect. There's the rooms and there's the categories that it needs to belong to, and the capacity needs to be correct. So, Brendan, if the capacity is not correct in Q2B, I think it is, mm. then um, if you change it in profit room, you also need to update it in Q2B. Okay. okay. Yeah, maybe um, reason I can, if Rita does the profit yeah. room slide, and then I can do the Q2B, and we can try and match it up and just... Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that in the back end and then let's maybe quickly, when you've done it, pop me a message and we just quickly hop on a call and compare. Okay. Is that cool with okay. you? Whenever you're yeah, ready, no. I'll be ready. I'm going to try and do it now. I've got a gap. So we don't okay. have to do it today, Brendan, but if you have a moment, just say I've got a moment and we make it work. Just Brendan, compare. yeah, okay, sorry. They have no. got it. Now, now I'm just looking for his email. Okay. Right. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, sorry. This this team's call won't have my details on it. I had to use a different profile. That's fine. I'll um, yeah, so email we, we you we that. Can, I'll let you and know I'll, about how the day goes. Yeah, and what I'll do is I'll email the spreadsheet to all of you. Janus, mm -hmm. do you want to be included in the email? Yeah, you can. You might as well include me there. Thank okay. You. Um. So I thought we're driving each other crazy in emails. Let's rather just go online and I can show you the issues. It's much easier. We can sort out a lot more doing it this way. Mm. It is much easier, I agree. Okay, so um, Rita, you can stay on. Um, I'm, cool. I'm going to try and save this, but I don't think it's going to allow me. Oh, it did. Okay, so I'll just go and fix that once you're ready. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, 
Henry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, just another question. So any changes we make, that's obviously pulling through to bookings.com and all that, that's not going to cause any more problems on no. that side? No. As soon as you push, as soon as you, um, uh, um, generate a new rate on a category, your link is anyway on your standard rates link to your okay. bookings.com okay. and whatever. Um, so your bed and breakfast rates are a link to your bookings.com and Expedia. But we can also link your self-catering. Yeah, because but I say it shouldn't be B and B for bookings.com because on not everything is including breakfast. So yes. Yeah. So once you have done those rights, please pop me a mail support okay. and we'll um, uh, retrieve your mapping again from these OTAs and then we'll make your um, self-catering, self-catering and your standard, your lodge rooms B&B. &B. Okay. okay. Um, what I wanted to show you, um, Brendan, is this. If you don't go and do those departments, breakdown you'll have a lot of unassigned and not allocated mm. see so your unassigned 18,000 rand it doesn't know where to go with it okay in your in your management reports okay okay so now I've done this one, now it picks up, okay, so that went to food, that went to, but that's very important to do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can have a look at those. Yeah, so just check that all those others are done. Otherwise, Janus is not going to like us at the end of the month. <laughs> yeah. cool. You can so you can filter down and go and see each one. Oh, so this is actually what was supposed to go to food. And then you can do it this way, and then you have to go back, and yeah, then you have okay. So go and you see now the history. You can't go and reallocate it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So for future, then your management reports will just be much better if you do those breakdowns. Okay, and that I do. Sorry, if you can just show me again, it's under. You just went so under the your, no, it's when you set up, when you set up there we go. right categories, they each one have to go and you have to break down what goes out of that right, what goes to um, accommodation and what goes to food and et cetera, et cetera. Yep. And then your price list items. And the only missing ones I see on your price list items, departments, action, Missing price list items are these three packages. Okay. So those are the only ones that didn't um, have any breakdown. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, but you come here, you say half day, and then you click on that little icon that's your breakdown. Mm. An action, create new. And you say food and beverage are getting 150. And up, up until when you get to 320. No, break yeah. it down. If you need to add more departments, you're missing some departments, you come to departments, action, create new. But I think that most of the stuff they just dropped under sundries. Mm -hmm. okay. no, but you can create more departments if you're missing more departments. Sounds good, thank you. Okay, so once um, Rieta has updated your profile with um, Profit Room, then we'll update that um, connection. And then your categories will be correct. And hopefully then we can um, set it up and then your occupancy will be correct and we will set it up and then we'll do test bookings. So once we've done this and we've mapped it correctly of the quantities, we'll do updates, what, which I didn't do for you now because I'm going to push wrong information anyway. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll come here and then we'll update availability and rights and then Rita can see on her side if she receives the rights yeah. and the availability and then also um, we can do a test booking Rita and then we can okay. see how it comes through and then okay. you can also do a cancellation yes perfect okay. mm -hmm. so in profit room we've also changed um, now um, which I can just show you while we're online. So if um, I can't remember all the venue names, but Mula Lodge, um, she wanted them to get the Q2B invoice, not profit rooms invoice because she's got Q2B pay. And I think you've also got the pay gate, Janus. I can remember correctly. Yes. So you want yeah, people right. to I mean, receive the PDF now. with the pay now button. So we've built in the send you to be invoice. So that the minute I tick that um, and I'm going to leave it on when we do test bookings, Rita, and you do a test booking, you should get Q2B's invoice with the pay now buttons on. Okay. Is there anything no. I have to do on my side to integrate with that or not? No. Nothing. There's no 3D secure, no merchant, no nooks. No, it all That's comes amazing. out. Amazing. So all That's it amazing. will do, yeah. So all it will do, just to show you, on this, it will send our invoice to the client, and they will have pay now buttons to pay immediately. That's incredible. Yeah. Okay, so we've mm -hmm. built that in because Profit Room had to develop an uh, integration with our Paygate. And they took too long, and then I did it yeah. last week. It, 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 we can just do it. We, our turnaround is just faster. Yeah, that's not that's fine. Perfect. Okay, so okay. that's something that we've changed, and um, it works perfectly. Um, we've done a one test booking with Pamula, um, mm. but she's just got various. She's got twenty different specials on Profit Room. That makes it difficult with her. Okay. Um, but now they do get the Q2B invoice, they can pay, and the money comes straight into the venue. They don't have to recon to pay gates, and where does the money come from? Is it in profit room, or is it in Q2B pay? Yeah. That much easier. So, guys, that's me. Um, yeah. I hope it makes sense. Mm. Um do you need me for anything, or can I just go update? No, in you can go. I just wanted to check with Brendan cool. regarding their setup because okay. it's horrible to retrieve uh, management reports and it's not correct. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I'll update profit room. You update Q2B, and then we connect Brendan, and then me and yeah. Henriette, when we're ready, I'll pop you a message and we start testing. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks, Peter. Much better than all the emails. We oh, I, I don't have time to read Bibles. <laughs> I lose email. Yeah. I'm so bad with email. Yeah. Brendan, did you do training with Q2B? I can't remember if you were included in the training. I was here for a little bit of it. I didn't do a lot of it, but um, I am a quick learner. So I can, but, if I have any questions, I'll also just let you know. You know, we recorded your um, training for you. Oh, yes, that is true. So what I can do as well, um, I can look for those recordings. If you can send me a WhatsApp on my personal phone, it's 082. Uh, 082, yeah. 895. 895. 5595. 5595, okay. And then I can forward those recordings to you if you just want to revisit it then, maybe. That's good. Okay. Henry, just to double check, so I need to now obviously update the categories to, we're going to match the profit room. Am I just doing it on the the spreadsheet that you sent me, or am I doing it on Q2B, or do you want to do it on Q2B? You do it on Q2B. So, okay. so, so, no, you don't change Q2B's um, uh, categories. The Rita will update profit room. With the correct matter. categories. All yeah. you need to do is you need to go and push rates on the self catering yeah. rate. Yeah. Well, and then once you're done, you need to tell me, then we have to um, revisit your mapping to booking.com and Expedia. Okay. That sounds good. Thank you. 
Okay, so, and you just go to rate generator. Yeah, okay. So just well, push, just push means... rates on that self-catering rate so we can map them with profit room properly. That's good. Yeah, I think the first thing is to just get the categories done and then I'll do the rates after that. Yeah. Um, I don't, Rieta, you do the profit room setup? Yes. Okay. So I've you sent won't. all. So I thought. Yeah, it's much better if it matches with each okay. other okay. and it looks the same and we push it through to the same and correct category. Right. Okay. No problem. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thanks, Andy. Thanks. Okay, guys. pleasure. I'll Thank send you, uh, you the recording. All right. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye.